Hello and welcome back to my channel where I discuss Fantasy Formula 1, my drivers, my constructors. I'm sorry, I'm a bit sick. Uh, <laughs> this video is a bit late and I apologize for that, uh, but I need to get it out anyway. Uh, it's also why I haven't posted anything this week. Uh, been under the weather. Uh, speaking of being under the weather, Suzuka is definitely under the weather. We could not gather that much information from Free Practice 2, which is when I'm recording this video. Um, so nothing really that happened in the free practice sessions that uh, influenced at least my decision making for my fantasy team and, and uh, going into Japan. Something that will change how I think about, uh, well, not just my plans for this week, but my plans going forward for the rest of the season and the future of the game is the information we got last week about how the price changes work in Fantasy Formula 1. If you didn't watch it, I made an entire video about it, going over it. Uh, I recommend that you pause this video and watch that first because I'm going to use some of that terminology here to explain why I'm thinking about using my wildcard. So this is my team going into Japan. I haven't made any transfers yet, which you shouldn't either. You never know what might happen. Um, and I have two different plans. One is the wildcard plan, and one is the two free transfers plan. Uh, and depending on which one I go with, that will change what happens moving forward. So this feels like a big like fork in the road um, that, that can influence our decisions. So let's just talk about them. Well, the main thing which is included in both the free uh, the free transfers uh, the, the, free, the free transfer and in the um, wild card is that I need to get Lance Stroll in. Lance Stroll, even if he crashes, looks set to just keep increasing in price, going up to 15 million, since that is the cutoff for the C and B tier rank. Uh, rank. So even if Lance Stroll were to crash it, yes, you would lose points, but you wouldn't lose that much budget because he is considered a cheap option, even though he is at 12 million. So I, I feel like I have to get Lance Stroll in now so that I can ride the cost cap up and get my cost cap up to uh, the, that higher point. And if I were to just use my two free transfers, well, the, the tr swap is pretty easy. It would be Lance Stroll and Sainz, uh, because that is the only uh, driver that I would want that I can also uh, afford um, for my premium driver. So the free transfer option would be to just get Lance Stroll in uh, and for that, I would have to sell Checo and bring Signs in. The other option, well, the wild card option that I am considering is to get Aston Martin over Red Bull Racing. Why is that? Well, because Aston Martin, the constructor, is also below 15 million. So I think Aston Martin is just a 3.5 million, which would mean that next race in China and then Miami which are both sprint races, I want Red Bull Racing and maybe Vax Verstappen. And the only way I can ever have a chance of affording this is if I actually like focus on my budget this week. So uh, going for Aston Martin for a one week punt to just try and get that 0.5 or 1 million increase in price feels very strong. Uh, and in addition to this, Aston Martin also came with a pretty, pretty big upgrade to Japan. So perhaps they could actually score some decent points. I don't think it's going to outscore this version, by the way. No way. I think Red Bull, with their new upgrade, is also going to storm this. So I do think I'm sacrificing some points. But for, for, for one race, it feels okay. It doesn't feel like the end of the world. Then talking about our cheaper assets. Um, two problems. Well, multiple problems, I guess. Uh, Williams do not have a spare chassis, and Logan Sargent's chassis uh, is is strapped together with with flex tape. Uh, Alpine also released information that they also do not have a spare chassis. So if if uh, Gasly or Ocon were to bin it in in, in free practice three, they are must sells, uh, right? Because they won't be able to race. Uh, Logan Sargent briefly uh, touched the barriers in free practice one. It was not. So bad that it didn't uh, that they couldn't fix the car, but I'm I, I'm very nervous owning Williams and Alpine assets. I'm also nervous owning Sauber assets because their wheel nut problem does not look to be fixed and won't be fixed for a while. Perhaps the uh, lower heat and the, and the low temperatures in Japan will be better for them because um, from what I read, it is a, a heating issue. Like when when the when the brakes run hot that is when the wheel nuts uh, something happened with the with the construction of the wheel nuts 
so they are either difficult um, or near impossible to to get off. Um, if I were to do the wildcard team, though, however, I would have to pick either Valtteri Bottas or Logan Sargent because of my slightly lower budget. Um, my team would be something like uh, something like this. Uh, I would pick both Ferrari drivers, uh, then get Nico Hülkenberg in. I, this, I wanted this to be Magnussen, but I don't have the cost cap for it. Uh, a last roll uh, and a Valtteri Bottas. Uh, I'm going completely without Red Bull here, which which, which feels bad. Uh, I could change Charles Leclerc to Checo, but then I would have to um, to play with Logan Sargent and Valtteri Bottas, and I don't know that I want to do that. I do think I want one of the Haas drivers. Um, in terms of the back market drivers, uh, it is again looking like Red Bull Racing and Haas are the only two reliable ones for points. And of the two, I think Haas are better uh, because Haas look faster in the race and slower in qualifying compared to the RB. So I could go Checo if I if if it looks like in free practice three that Red Bull are so fast that I don't want to go completely without them. But again, that would leave me with with Logan Sargent over uh, over someone like a Nico Hulkenberg. So right now, this is the plan on a wild card. What would that mean for the future of my team? Well, the immediate future would be in China. I could do two free transfers to just um, bring uh, Red Bull Racing back in. So it would look something like this. Uh, a quick and easy fix, and I maybe even could afford something else if my, my, pro my uh, assets rise in price, right? So this would be my EC two, you know, two free transfers in China. I could also, if uh, for example, say that Lance Stroll were to crash this week uh, in in Japan, and I don't want to sell Aston Martin because Aston Martin didn't increase in price like I was imagining, uh, like, like I was hoping, because you get the price hikes from your previous team when you limitless and i was already looking to use my limitless either in miami or austria but definitely for one of the first three sprint races of the season now china is an unknown so that is uh, definitely a risk but i don't hate the limitless in china uh together with with a team like this because I do think this is probably the best team for price rises right now. Uh, if you are not like me and you have higher budget, I think uh, Magnussen is better than Nico. I think there are better options than Valtteri Bottas. Um, if you could have uh, Checo, because Checo looks to get more points than, than, than Charles, uh, I would probably have that. So there are upgrades to this team. But for Japan, Aston Martin, Lance Stroll, uh, Ferrari as the constructor, as the second constructor, and then one of the Ferrari assets look very, very uh, nice in terms of in terms of price rises. And I feel like since I'm already quite behind on price rises, only sitting on a cost cap of 102 million, I do need to focus on that for now. So that wild card is looking very, very um, <laughs> tasty. <laughs> it's looking very viable, and and I'm uh, and I kind of want to just hit it. Um, Again, like I discussed in my chip video, the wildcard is not so valuable that you need to save it for like a certain moment. When it feels right, it feels right. If your team is bad, just use it. You can get by with three transfers most of the time. Maybe you can't attack uh, certain like big engine penalties or the similar in the future. But we didn't even see that many engine penalties last season. So... I do like the the, the, the wildcard this week. It was set me up in terms of build, beginning to actually build some sort of a budget. And I do have a plan going into China depending on what happens. A simple free, a simple two free transfers to get Red Bull Racing back in for the two um, for the two back to back sprint, re, uh, sprint races. Um, or uh, a limitless in China to to ride the price rises even further and then do the, that same switch in Miami. So yeah, that is what I'm eyeing up. 
uh, I hope you at least uh, got some information from this rather late video and that you managed to watch it before the deadline. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, again, I've been sick, so sorry for that. Thank you so much for watching. If you uh, did watch all this way through, uh, perhaps click uh, perhaps click subscribe. I'm not going to edit that out. Uh, see you after Japan.